Ash, uh, just what do you remember this River Center meet last year? I'm not sure whether you got to compete or not, but different, but familiar? How's that, how's that feel? River Center, so it just provides us a away environment that is at home. So it's a really awesome place for us to be able to, you know, get outside of the four walls that we get to compete in here and just have a different environment and also one that's on podium. So it's a great opportunity for us to ha experience the away and also the podium at the same time, which is really awesome that we get to do that right before ICCs, which is, you know, right down the road. So we're really excited to be in there. Um, it also just, you know, is a place where we get to adapt and uh, learn what we need to do and what we need to, you know, get better at going into SECs. So this will be a great trial run for that. You kind of mentioned it being important to be on podium. Just as a gymnast, why is it important to get those practice reps in on a podium event before postseason starts? Absolutely. So podium just it adds a little bit of a different bounce to everything. Uh, landings are a little bit different. Uh, the runs on certain events are different. I haven't been on podium for all four events in quite a few years, but from what I remember from what we've done this year, uh, the bar landing definitely um, is something different than what we normally go on. It's a little bit firmer. Um, and so we just have to get those reps in, learn how to adapt to that landing so that we can be our best you know, down the road. Ashley, you scored a career high on Friday. What was that like for you? It was awesome. Um, I'm truly grateful to be, you know, in an environment where I am supported and encouraged constantly to, you know, reach my highest capabilities. Uh, a big thing I've been thinking about recently is just letting the littles add up to huge things. Um, and my faith has been big in that too, you know, just letting God work through me and being able to glorify him on that biggest stage. So being able to see that come through and have a career high on Friday was really awesome. I mean, that stick feeling is truly like nothing else. Um, so it was great to experience that on Friday. What kind of teammate has Haley Bryant been as far as a, an example as well as just a, a teammate? Um, it's really cool. Something that people don't really know is that I trained with her. Well, I didn't train, but I competed with her a lot in North Carolina. Um, so I was competing against her as I was growing up and just getting to watch her from there be, you know, the Haley Bryant of Everest Gymnastics and J.O. That was, you know, the Nastia qualifier, the first one of the year every year who, you know, would go and be excellent. And then to see her here and be able to just you know, walk down the hallway and just knock on Haley Bryant's door is something that, you know, not a whole lot of people get to experience. And so being able to form a relationship with her has been super awesome, getting to bond over, you know, the North Carolina things that they don't have here, the Bojangles, cookout, you know, that kind of stuff um, <laughs> that we both enjoy has been super awesome. Um, and just her approach to gymnastics is something that helps me center myself too at times and remember that, you know, it's not that big of a deal overall. You know, you can just, you know, leave it at the door. Your approach really is just in those day-to-day -day things and letting your body take over whenever you're competing, which is something I'm still learning to do, but that she does so well. So it's really, really great to be surrounded by her. When you're a specialist like like yourself, I mean, you, you know, people like Haley, everyone talks about her and Gaia and that sort of thing, but you have a role and you have a, you have a key role. Obviously, you'd like to, I'm sure you'd like to do more events, you know, eventually, but, but how do you see your role and this, you go out there and perform and that's it, you know, like, oh, I'll do better on the next one or something like that, but that's it, right? Yeah, so as a specialist, uh, it's a really special opportunity. Um, honestly, to go out there and to provide the team with a piece of the puzzle. Um, you know, I'm not doing everything out there on Friday nights, but I am doing everything in the gym. So it's really great to be able to push others, too, who are in lineups um, to be their best so that I'm also being my best in the gym and just, you know, having that competitive atmosphere. I mean, Jay always talks about it, you know, pushing each other in the gym so that on Friday nights that six that goes out there, we can have our full confidence that they are going to be the best that they can possibly be. And so being a specialist is um, just a piece of that puzzle, and it also helps me to contribute um, in little ways that can – overall add to the big piece of just what we're doing here. I'm always interested in hearing how gymnasts get their start in the sport. Are there a lot, any other gymnasts in the family, other athletes, 
And can you ever remember a time not doing gymnastics? How, how young were you when, you when you started? So I am the sole gymnast in the family. Um, I have three other siblings. None of them really found the joy that I do in the sport, so they're off doing other things now. Um, but I found... I liked to be crazy whenever I was little, and so my parents wanted me to be crazy in a safe place. So right around the time where I was like five-ish, um, they decided to put me into gymnastics because they were sick of me doing vaults over our furniture. So um, I was ruining way too many things and putting holes in walls and handprints on the ceilings, and so they wanted to put me somewhere where that would be a safe environment to do so. As the season winds down, you're coming into your junior year and you're going to become a veteran on this team. What does that mean for you as a leader or in a new role as you get older? I think a big thing that's been resonating with me recently is, you know, learning from those who have led before me, but also um, teaching those below me to also lead well. Um, I don't think that, you know, leadership is something that comes from a higher place. It can really come from anywhere in the team. And so I think it's important that we all have the, you know, common goal in mind and that whenever we're leading that we want to lead from a place of love and that we already do that here. We have a very uh, family atmosphere, so it's easy to, you know, hold each other accountable, whether it's a, a sixth year, a freshman, a sophomore, you know, we're able to get in there and lead each other well. Um, and so I don't think the you know, being an upperclassman is really going to change that for me. I think my approach is going to be the same, you know, to just serve others well and um, just lead people in the direction where we all want to go.